All right, we're back with you now. We had a little technical difficulty there, but uh, reboot it. Sorry about that. We're back with you. Two one Sly, and he's shooting the six ball. Not for sure what he's planning on doing here, but uh, he really doesn't know what he wants to do here. Is he going to try to cut this ball in the corner? That's what it looks like to me, Jordan. He is a straight shooter, guys. Uh, and he switched it. Did, but. Now he's faced with another tough shot. Yeah. He's gonna have to. He's just. This is natural. He's just gotta hit at the right speed here. He, he's fine. He's fine, Jordan. Looks like it's gonna put him up three to one. This is a tough shot right here, though, Zach. This is a tester. Especially on this table. This table does not play real easy. Swisher. And he fires it in and sly three. Brandon one. So I don't know. It looks like our predictions. Looks like mine is in real danger here. <laughs> mine was nine to four. And Zach's was or nine to six. So Mine's looking a little little grim right now, but. Shannon Murphy's standing around. We don't know if he uh, won or lost. Obviously, him and Billy Thorpe's match is over. Let me try to get an update for you guys out there. And anyone that is in the Cincinnati area, we're looking to gamble up here. Uh, if you think you might want to match up with somebody in the, in the Michaels at this time, like myself, I'm looking for action. Uh, this kid right here, Billy Thorpe, he's the looking for action. wants to know who won out of you and Shannon. Billy won. What was the score, Billy? Nine Bill to seven. Billy beat Shannon nine to seven, Ooh. guys. Billy Thorpe is an up-and-coming pool player, boys. He's not hold on, hold on. Get, get him a microphone. Let's just get a little interview from Billy Thorpe, Let's the young and upcoming player here. <laughs> this kid might be the best thankful <laughs> player in two years from now. Watch out, Johnny Brumback. Billy Thorpe is up and coming. Get him a mic. The Billy, this Billy, too, he's got a little gamble to him, guys. So if any of you guys are looking for action, uh, he is from Dayton, Ohio, and he loves to gamble if you guys want to make your way to Dayton, Ohio. He will match up with anybody in the country. Well, he might play anybody even, you know. Uh, for you guys out there, anybody, uh, please give me an update on that uh, Monday or Sunday night football game, please. Any of you viewers, just type in the score for me if you would. We got a we got a gambler, a holic here. He he can't see the score and he's going nuts, you know. So I got us back in the cave back here commentating for you guys. And uh, if any of you be so kind to give me an update on that score. Fifty-one to twelve. That's not the right. Sixteen to ten. Eagles. How the Eagles get sixteen? It was seven to three at half. They get a safety. Uh, three field goals. I can't hear this. Eli Opie Manning. What is it, Gary? Three field goals or a touchdown and a safety? What? Sit down. Three field goals. Who's got the ball, Gary? And what quarter? How much time's left, Gary? <laughs> Looks like um, Jeremy's going to kick two rails. 
Ramos. 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 Hello. Uh, we had a little technical difficulty there, you know, Billy Thorpe back here messing around, you know. He's trying to offer me 9-7. It's his way out of line. I need 10-6. Uh, Danny, it was Billy Thorpe, the up-and-coming monster from Dayton, Ohio. Don't forget, it, ladies and gentlemen, Dayton, Ohio. Is, uh, they breed uh, pool play and champions down there. You got Ryan Stone, Alex Ollinger, uh, that Jason, Jason Miller, Miller. Um, you know, uh, Brian Stone, Billy, you know, they even got a little Liz down there. She plays jam up. So, uh, you know, I mean, who wants to go through Dayton? Hey, uh, hey guys, I appreciate the updates for the, uh, the football game. If you wouldn't mind, uh, just keep updating me about every five minutes or so. How will he play Shuff? How will you play Shuff, Bill? He said he'll take the seven and the break. What do you want from him? He said he'll take the eight ball from Brandon Shuff. Oh, it looks like he got pretty good on his four ball, Jordan, from where he was at. Mine too. Here we go, Jeremy on the five ball. Looks like Sly's running away with this match here. Yes, it does, but one thing you can never do is uh, give up on somebody. Giants touchdown, that's no good, guys. Dora is in the finals coming up. Who's Dora? Eagles stink, 17-13 New York. Okay, thank you for that. Well, all I can say is uh, for all you college football fans out there, uh, if anybody didn't see or didn't hear about Geno Smith yesterday going off, I think it was like uh, 46 of 51 for 682 yards or 652 yards. And eight touchdowns, eight touchdowns, Zach. I mean, that's pretty impressive. It's a record, I believe. I mean, it's definitely set the Big 12 record. I do know that. Uh, but I think. Sly guy looks like he's going to take a four-to-one lead for all you uh, pool fans out there. So he's going to need three to Brandon's eight from here. So I'm really liking Sly more now. So what's your prediction for this match? Anyhow, I, I picked Sly. Uh, I think Nine. I picked him seven to three is what I picked him at before the match. <laughs> yeah, just you yeah. know what? I'm going to go out on a limb here, guys. I'm going to still take Brandon. I think Brandon's going to come back and win this set. Sticking with sticking with uh, Brandon, huh? Yeah, you got to stick with your uh, Well, I can tell you this. Brandon's definitely got some grind to him, and he will not give up. So, uh, you know, we'll just see what happens. But uh, I definitely am not counting Brandon out of this match. But here he goes. We'll see if he breaks any better than he has been. And no. he makes nothing but noise, and we got a dry break. Here we go, Brad is now shooting the two ball.
if Brandon can get out of this rack and make it 4-2 his break, uh, he's he can legitimately give himself uh, a chance to win. Chance but to he, at least get back in this. He's got to get out right here to give himself a little confidence. Yes, for sure. Now. That can now. All right, we got a special guest getting ready to come with you guys. Brittany, she's going to come up and give you guys some updates on the tournament. And uh, you guys staying with us? Uh, Brandon did just take that game to put the score to four to two, with Brandon breaking. Uh, I do apologize, it's Jeremy's break, not Brandon. Jeremy breaks, hits the wing ball right in the corner pocket, and looks like he's going to be straight in on the one ball. Oh, maybe a little, not. A little bump from the three, didn't he, Jordan? Yeah, maybe not. This is a tough rack now. The way he's been shooting, though, he might take a stab at this one nine. Yeah, it looks like he's usually cue ball. Play a carom shot. Yeah, he's going to play the carom. Doesn't look to me like it's got a great angle for it, but I might be wrong. He's going to give it a tester, though, Jordan. And hit it bad. Now, Brandon needs to really play a good safe right here and try to get ball in hand. Try to get himself his confidence back together. May just try to make this one and come up and try to break the two out. The two is that's the, that's the four ball. How oh, is that the four? Yeah. Um, color line, I guess. And he plays a good safe. Yeah, he left him a little bit of the ball. Sorry about that, that's our technical guy changing up the camera angle. <laughs> Throwing stuff around, one of his angles is a little messed up. He takes this stuff really personal. Looks like he's just gonna try to spin it a little bit, Jordan. I think he's gonna kick at it, Zach. He hits it and it looks like he might scratch. No, he got a hell. He got away with it. He got a good roll. I mean, this nine ball, you got to get the rolls though.
Brandon makes a good hit, but uh, not really going to be satisfied with that. Yeah, the outcome wasn't too good. If this three ball goes, he might he might get out right here. I think it does. Just got to stop and shoot the four right in the corner. Looks like he's going to follow down, take a chance of bumping it, and maybe hooking himself. Personally, I would just stop it and shoot the four straight in. He followed it down, and now he could be in a little trouble. Yeah. I've seen a lot of players follow it at that pocket and uh, go too far today. Yeah, table rolls downhill just a little bit that way. Looks like he's just gonna try to cut this on the side. Nope. I didn't think it would go past the five. That's a good shot. He should be out from here. Shoot, stop, follow it up, and yep. that's about it. Looks like that's gonna take us to five to two, guys. Had a little straighter than he wanted, maybe. No problem, though. Yeah, he's fine. And that will put us 5 to 2, Jeremy Sly. Brandon needs 7, Jeremy needs 2. All right, we are back uh, with the lovely Brittany. Zach. No problem. <laughs> Looks like um, Brandon made a win, take him a little uh, bathroom break. For you guys just joining, we are at Fairfield, Ohio at Michael's <laughs> Billiards. Guys, we are back. 
We are back. Brandon's getting ready to break, being down five to two. Brandon is going to nine, and Jeremy is going to seven. That's Alvin. Looks like he's going to break dry again. Every time he's broke, it's been dry. Leaves Jeremy straight in on the one ball. So let's hear some pool stories, Zach. I don't got none. You have no pool stories for us today. Well, let's hear something interesting, man. I've been in the pool hall with you uh, a thousand times, and I mean, it's never a dull moment. So just let us let us in on something, something that's happened this weekend. Oh, well, we just like to gamble. That's about all, guys. Brittany, you got anything to comment on this match? Anything you like about it? <laughs> Looks like he's going to uh, try to ride his 2-9, guys. He's trying to, take, uh, trying to go ahead and close the curtains on this match. What do you think, Jordan? Yeah, it looks to me like he's going to go ahead and try to take full advantage at 6-2, and he'll he'll be needing uh, one game. So if he makes this shot, it's uh, going to be real tough for Brandon. But oh, he, he missed, missed. It. But he missed it good, Jordan. He did. Uh, Brandon might just, uh, I don't know, he's got some bad rolls in this match. Yeah, going to the nine when the opponent's going to seven, it's tough to fade them bad rolls. Sure is. Sure is. We got Robert Frost and uh, Shane Winters playing on the table right beside the TV table. Yeah. Not for sure what they're doing. Playing some one pocket, I believe. Even one pocket for 100 a game. Is that what they're doing? I believe so. A little nitty, if you ask me. Waka, why is Vic a moron? He just threw an interception. All right, as Brandon's down to shoot the two ball, and he plays a safety. He's going to play it behind him. That's a good shot. Really good. He set himself up to maybe three foul in this game. So, uh... Brittany, um, how long have you been working with uh, Inside Pool? This is my first night. This is your first night, huh? Uh, how are you liking it so far? Enjoying it. You enjoying it? You like the pool atmosphere? I yeah. You got a lot of people in Michaels tonight, you know, having a good time, seeing a lot of good uh, pool shooting. Yeah. And you, I'm sure you're going to meet a lot of good people because, uh, you know, us pool players are, you know, really good people. So far, I have to agree with that. Yeah. So far, so good, huh? Yeah, we're up here trying to teach Brittany the ropes about this pool. She's learning. She catches on pretty quick, though, for you guys out there. Here comes Sly trying to kick it uh, three rails. And that makes a, good a wonderful shot. hit. That's got a disgust, Brandon, right there. I yeah. mean, he had a chance to maybe three foul him and take. You know, take a little bit back, but not so much. He's just going to thin this ball, come back underneath the nine. It's going to put him in the same predicament. This this hit's going to be a little bit harder than the last one, though, Jordan. Yeah, this is uh, this is really tough, especially if it's froze. If it's so. Uh, Sly's gonna have to. He's gonna have to miss the eight barely. Just uh, try to try to come through and hit the two. They've got Shannon down there. They're just gonna keep him on guard because there's gonna be a lot of a lot of calls this match probably. Got to put a lot of left hand English on this. Yeah, it's gonna be a very hard shot. And no good. No sir. Brandon's going to get ball in hand, but he still might not like it from here. So, uh, Brittany, where are you from? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, huh? And uh, what uh, what uh, brings you to this uh, field here? 
you have an interest in pool or you do okay you just you know you've got a great job with inside pool i mean uh you know they're really up and coming uh they're, you know starting some good stuff with pool so hopefully it becomes a good career for you and brandon's gonna slow roll the combo and yeah, gets there almost this didn't should, hit it enough this should be tic-tac-toe jordan yeah it's uh pretty easy out here it's, uh, but the you know the pressure's still on i mean uh it's not like this is the first match of the tournament. Right. So uh, now all he needs to do is come two rails, just get a little angle on the six. He should be out with no problem. Uh -oh. And he hit it not so good. Makes it a little tougher than it's supposed to be. So now it's, instead of being a tic-tac-toe out, it's a difficult one. And and, no. and leaves Jeremy and he straight. He is uh, definitely not feeling himself right now. Jeremy could go up six one, six to two. I'm sorry, and it looks as though he will. Looks like Jeremy's going to need one, and Brandon's going to need seven. For all your viewers out there, just uh, joining, we are in Fairfield, Ohio, for the uh, Great Southern Billiard Tour. Me, uh, Jordan, and uh, Brittany, Zach, the Z Bomb. For all you guys out there in the pool world, I'm better known as Z Bomb. Sly's got himself uh, not an easy shot here, but I mean a definitely his, makeable shot. His confidence is really high as well, Jordan. So this is just like a ball in hand it's shot. It's like a hanger to him. Yeah. And that'll take you, Jeremy Sly to the hill. And I don't know, not much hope for Brandon now. It's not looking good, guys. Good thing I did take uh, Sly winning this match. Jordan had Brandon. I had Brandon nine to four, which is real off. It's uh doesn't look like Brandon's going to make it to four. Brittany, what's your prediction from here? Uh, Jeremy needing one game and Brandon needing seven. Who do you like? Jeremy. Yeah, so, uh, pretty well known. Looks like Jeremy's going to go ahead and Brittany, win this match. Brittany picked Jeremy from the start, too. I mean, that's uh, she, she picked it really good there. She said it was going to be a little closer. She said it would be like 7-7, seven, seven, but it's, you know, 6-2 to two right now. So, uh her prediction still has a chance. Mine's gone and Zach's is gone, so she's the only one with a chance left, so we'll see what happens. Uh-oh, he did just jump the cue ball off the table. See if Brandon can do anything with it. I would cue ball in hand, no problems on the table. He should get out from here. I will tell you this, guys. Uh, two matches ago, Brandon was down 6-1 to one playing a guy 9-7 to seven and beat him 9-6. to six. So Brandon did win eight in a row, so he is technical of uh, winning seven in a row here, but very unlikely. What do you think, Brittany? Do you think do you, do you see that happening? Do you see Brandon coming back? Any chance of that? It's always a possibility. It's always a possibility. I like it. She's got faith. She's, that's right. It looks as though Brandon's already got herself. Oh, uh, no, nah, he should be fine. I don't know what he's doing right now. Looks like he's walking away. He's, uh, he's actually just went and got Shannon Dalton. Must be something on the cue ball that he needs wiped off. Well, this is uh, Shannon's third appearance here in the last five minutes. No. Uh, there must be something on the three ball. Looks like Shannon's going to pick us up, clean it up for uh, Brandon. We'll go from there. Oh, the Eagles. What, 19 to 7 Eagles. Oh. 
I'm doing you a favor. I'm just trying to get enough. <laughs> The uh, Brandon makes the three ball after the confusion, and now he should be out as long as he gets on the five, comes two rails, and just like perfect. so. Really? A little shoot and stop. It should put us to uh, six to three. And he did not shoot and stop. He likes to make it a little tough, to I guess. make it hard. I really don't understand that, but. And you can tell Brandon is just out of his game right now. He looks like uh, Shane Winters and BJ Ussery earlier. Uh, I don't know, maybe the pressure is just too much for him on this TV table. I don't know. Looks like Jeremy's going to go ahead and uh, wrap up this match, guys. Well, Brittany, do you think like the added pressure being uh, on the TV table uh, is, you know, having a having an impact on Brandon right here? Maybe he doesn't look too happy. Right now. Doesn't look too happy. Doesn't doesn't look like he's in a good mood. You know, I mean, his body language is terrible. You know, that's that's huge. You got to keep your, you got to keep yourself in good spirits at all times. Yeah, this pool's got a lot to do with mental, Jordan. You gotta be mind strong, there's, head strong, and that'll the, do it, ladies and gentlemen. There's the handshake, and uh, we will be back to you guys uh, on, for the next match. Thank you, and uh, you guys have a good night. Uh, that's really a job. Like, that's like a job. <laughs> <laughs> that's like a job. <laughs> I'll get him back here. I'm not, I can't do that again. Nah, he said he was going over to charge his phone.
that's called the, uh... I don't know what you're saying. What's going on here? Yeah, they're mine. Brandon, 10, 26. 